Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Play VS Spring League of Legends season. This is the first week of the regular season. My name is Mr. Wood. I am the advisor for the Lake Stevens High School Video Game Club, and I'm also the esports guy. Today, we have an exciting match for you guys. It is going to be our school, Lake Stevens High School, versus Lake Mead Christian Academy, which is in Nevada, I believe. Something that is different for the regular season is that it goes into a draft style match. So instead of having a blind pick like it was for the preseason, it will be a more traditional picks and bands ranked mode. Um, so we're really looking forward to that. I know that the students have had access to the opponent's profiles to see who they play, who they don't play, have a little bit of strategy going into it. All right, you guys, we have begun. So let's go ahead and take a look at our screen over here on the right. This is the picks and bands section. So their team is going to select two, one band. We're gonna select two bands. They do two, we do two, we do one, back and forth until the bands have all been selected. Looks like Way of Heaven has decided to ban Nasus, which usually is played by ninjas in the top lane. So that band seems to make sense. Let's see what Lake Stevens is going to go with. All right. Zeri is a band there first. It looks like, and by the way, only a couple of their players have really played League of Legends a lot. I think only Reformed Soldier and Way of Heaven um, are that um, experienced with the game. And so for the other three profiles, we're not really sure what kind of champions they tend to pick. Um, so Lake Stevens is kind of flying blind here. They can they can try to ban out and, and, and affect those two players, but the other three players don't really have much of a record available online to see who they favor. Um, they banned Cassiopeia, which is uh, attempting to shut down Macho Waffles in the mid lane. Macho has played Cassiopeia for the whole preseason, although I do know that he's got a handful of other champs in his back pocket. Third pick goes to Misfortune, which is an attempt to shut down Wilson Twint in the bottom lane. Now we're going to go to some picks. Lake Mead is going to pick first. And Lake Stevens, by the way, banning Yone and Swain. A Viego pick for Way of Heaven. Probably going to see Viego in that top lane. Not sure if he's going to play top or if he's going to play jungle, but either way. See who Ninja's picks here. Ninja is probably most comfortable on Nasus. He has played Tom Kench before. He's gonna lock in the Tom Kench. Frost Wolf going jungle now. Couple options he has available to him. Um, he's played Warwick a lot. I was gonna say probably gonna be a Warwick. Slygonzo gonna grab the Jinx. Arcane fan in the room. Bram Bram from Lake Mead gonna get that third pick. See who they pick. A Ramus. Okay, so now let's see what Macho Waffles is going to do. With Cassiopeia banned, he kind of has to choose a second or third champ that he's more familiar with. All right, there's a Cassidy pick. So that was actually one of the first champs that Macho Waffles spent time with, had some experience with, was Cassidy. Way a year ago, when we were playing uh, esports for the first time, League of Legends for the first time, Lake Stevens is going to get another ban in here. Ninjas has got the floor. A Lux ban. Fourth ban for Lake Mead comes in now. Sitting in the hands of Way of Heaven. Let me get in there. That's two champs picked 
band out for uh, Wilson Twint. Seen him play Tristana, seen him play Misfortune, both of them now gone. Lake Stevens bans Zed, and now Lake Mead has the final ban in their hands. Wilson Twint's probably going to have to pull deep into his uh, champ pool. The Pantheon ban, not really super concerned about the Pantheon ban because Pantheon really was only played by Warwick in the jungle. Wilson Twint hovering over Jin. Sivir was looking at um, Caitlyn for a second there. But lots of good ADC picks. I love the Jin pick. Jin is such a great champion. All right. Two picks for Lake Mead, and then Game and Printer gets the final pick for support. Jax for Reformed Soldier. I think he might be going top. Guess we'll have to wait and see. Real Attack Siren from Lake Mead has the last pick for their team. And there's the Pike pick. Game and Printer probably a little bummed about that. That is a champ that he likes to spend some time with. But we also know that he's got a good Nami, and we also know that he has a good Thresh. So he had plenty of choices available to him there. A pretty nice looking spread. Not a lot of tank for Lake Stevens, unless Tom Kench can do some work there. Um, so Lake Stevens may need to play around that. Um, not a weakness, but play around that play style. Not a, not a lot of tanky health for Lake Stevens. All right. Lake Stevens is in the red today. Lake Mead is in the blue. Lake Stevens, four champions immediately rolling, running down that mid lane. Moving into that bush, probably going to be looking for a quick pick here. Nami needs to get into that bush quick without Viego seeing her. They're in position. They're going into the jungle. Yes. Coming around the bush. There's Ramis. Flash is gone. Bunch of damage on him already. There's a stun. There's a kill! First blood for Tom Kench. There's two of them in the jungle, but all five Lake Stevens players are here. They are happy to take this fight. Let's roll on over onto this screen. Sorry about that, you guys. Let's see what Lake Stevens does. They chase them down into that bottom lane. And they're going to go back really quick and then push into their lanes by the looks of it. Three of them, four of them still lurking down here. Ramis looks like he's going to that top jungle. They're going to grab the red buff, give him a leash right here in the bottom jungle. Do a little bit of counter jungling right off the bat. And Warwick is now roaming through the bottom jungle for Lake Mead. Well, I should say in the bottom of Lake Mead's jungle. Come rolling in. They're going to chase, chase him out of that middle lane. Jax is in the top lane. Looks like Viego is going mid. Ramus is jungling today. A little friendly greeting. Almost a hook by Pike. Lake Stevens is going to have to watch out for that. There's a stun. We're getting a little bit of lag, unfortunately. Yoink a good chunk of health there. Hooks the minion. Almost. It does get the stun, actually. Jinx doing a bunch of damage. But Lake Stevens, I think, out poking right now. Support keeps sniping those minions. I think Lake Stevens is probably pretty happy with that. Normally, you don't want your support to be taking any creep score away from your ADC. 
Poking, poking, poking. There's another stun. Nice job. I don't think it's going to be enough, but they do a bunch of damage and engage in the top here. Tom Kench getting mulched just a little bit, although he's got enough health right now to make it back to the tower without much of an issue. Pike had to pull back. Misses that stun. All right, my baby is waking up. I have to go get her really quick. All right, I'm back. Just in time to see Wilson Twint able to snag a kill on Jinx under the tower. They're able to take that first plate on that bottom tower. Right now, bottom lane for Lake Stevens doing some serious work. Ooh, grabs, it, grabs the hook there. Nice, Ninjas gets a kill in the top lane. In case you guys were curious, I now have my five month old <laughs> watching us, watching us play some league. Lake Stevens on a roll right now, up a little over, uh, almost about 3K gold, they got three kills. Two for Tom Kench in the top after that invade at the beginning. The dragon is getting killed by Lake Stevens right now, but Ramus rolls in. Looks like Lake Mead would like to contest. Lake Stevens in a good position here to collapse onto them. Macho Waffles pulls back a little bit. Lake Stevens gets a kill on the dragon. Gets Slagonzo. Macho Waffles is able to pull back. Macho Waffles rolls in. He's getting probably going to go down here. Yep, killed by Way of Heaven. Come on, Wilson Twint, get there. Gets Ramus. Nice stun on Way of Heaven. Oh, he almost got Game and Printa. Lake Stevens takes three kills there. Trades one. Macho Waffles goes down because of it. I believe that was Macho Waffles, right? Yeah, Macho Waffles goes down. But Lake Stevens, I think, really happy with that, with that engage. And they get the dragon for it. Take that first plate on that middle tower. Man, Tom Kench doing some great work right now. A decent engage, but reformed able to get out of it. Turn that game volume up just a tad. All right, Lake Stevens bottom lane pushed back kind of close to their tower. Just doing some chip damage, some nice poke. Take a peek up there at Wolf. Macho Waffles are getting bullied a little bit by way of heaven, although his blink obviously going to help with the escape.
Almost lands the stun. And Pike misses that hook. The minion takes the, the hit. Tom Kench engages in that top lane. In the bush. Gets stunned. Doing so much damage right now to Jax. Gets in position. That's a kill for ninjas. Takes a couple tower shots. But at this point, he is doing that doing that work. Getting, getting nice and tanky for Lake Stevens in the top. Lake Stevens up 7 to 1 kills. Up 5k in gold. They go in on Pike. Pike's able to escape. Lake Stevens doing a bunch of damage down there. Wilson Twint. Wilson Twint doing so much damage. Game Imprint has got to pull back a little bit here. Ninja's going to take another plate here, although Ramus is set up. Warwick is in the vicinity, though. He pulls back to the jungle. Warwick probably going to come back here. Although he could say, you know what? I'm going to take you just fine, Ramus. Why don't you come with me? Gets a kill. He might even have enough to go right in on Reformed. Oh my gosh. He's doing so much damage right now. Here comes Warwick. Warwick kill steals. <laughs> nice stun on Jinx. And that's going to be a kill. Doing a bunch of damage on that pike under the tower. Lake Stevens running away with this one right now. Game and Printer rolls up into the tri bush to clean out some wards. Rift Herald popped on that middle middle turret. couple plates taken down and they're going right in on right in on him under the tower gets a kill Frostwolf almost dies gonna get killed by Jax here yeah Jax lurking in that top bush Ramus looking for a pick on Cassidy Cassidy in a scary spot right now Jax in that bush gets jumped Flashes away under the tower, and he's safe. Tom Kench now roaming down into the mid lane. Wilson Twint takes a big shot. Man, that pike is having a hard time landing any hooks this game. Macho Waffle's got to be a little bit careful here. Although he is... Um, actually, no. He is kind of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Way of Heaven in the mid lane. He's got, I think, so far the toughest matchup in that mid lane. Okay, there is a hook. Game and Printa getting hammered right now. Yep, there's the kill. Gotta pull back, buddy. Pull back. There you go. Let the minion do the work. Way of Heaven is coming in. Warwick is there. Warwick probably gonna flash over here. Nope. Yeah, Frostle's gonna go down. And they are in position to take this dragon. All five of them are there. That was a good engage by Lake Mead. A good pike hook, a good pike ult. That'll do it. Blue team grabs the second dragon. Lake Stevens up 7k and 7 kills. Macho Waffles is able to take out that middle turret. Now has to retreat up to the top. Gets slammed by Jax. Doing a little ward clean out here. Ninja's now doing work in that top lane. Almost done with that outer turret. Two Lake Mead players coming up to the top, though. Gonna have to pull back here, ninjas. Uh, they think better of it. Game and Printa looking for that stun. I don't think they know he's there. Diego gets ulted by Warwick. His flash is burned. Minions catch Warwick for a little bit. Lake Steven's probably going to burn another plate here. There's a nice 80 gold. Two Lake Mead players are about to jump onto Petto in that top lane. They are situated. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay, little baby. Tom Kench going in. 
Ramus right on the other side, but Ramus can't really do anything right now. He decides not to engage, interestingly enough. Reformed Soldier trying to get some turret damage on him. He does. If only Ramus had been there, man. Lake Steven's going to grab this bottom outer turret, although two Lake Mead players now collapsing onto ninjas in that top lane. Ninjas dodges it. Does he have a flash up? He's waiting for Macho Waffles. Macho Waffles is there. Good play by Lake Stevens. He grabs him. Beautiful kill by Ninjas. Okay, now Macho Waffles grabs this top lane. Lake Stevens goes in on Way of Heaven. I think we're probably going to lose Ninjas here, though. Yeah, he's stunned under that turret. Yeah. That was a good kill by Lake Mead. Reformed Soldier gets the stun under the turret. Macho Waffle's pretty happy with this matchup. Totally happy to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Jax. He's got a couple levels on him. All right, Ramus in position. They're going to try to go in on this bottom lane. Oh, he misses. Like Stevens, there's an ult. There's a stun. No hook. Like Stevens retreats back to that turret. A good ult by Game and Printa. A scary engage in that bottom lane, but Lake Stevens makes the most of it. Let's see how we're doing creep score wise. Across the board, three Lake Stevens players over 100. No Lake Mead players in that position. Their support getting a couple too much CS for support. Like Steven's playing this game the way it needs to be played right now. Four of them are now in that bottom jungle. Ninjas has to pull back to the tower. Not before doing a fair amount of damage on Reformed Soldier though. Like Steven's now collapsing into this middle lane. Tom Kench, Ninja is getting hammered right now. Macho flies in, and Jin with the ult misses the first shot, misses the second shot, third shot misses. Oh, that was unfortunate. Lands that fourth shot, though. Macho waffles, goes in, gets a kill. Goes for a second one, doesn't get it. Like, Stevens actually didn't lose anybody. Ninja stayed alive throughout that entire encounter. He's doing his tank job right now. And Lake Stevens moves into this inner turret in the middle lane. Macho Waffles rolls to the top lane to do some minion farming. Warwick moves to the, um, not not Baron, to the uh, Rift Herald. And then they're all collapsing on Jinx right now. She's in that bush, and she's going to be going down, isn't she? Yep. So much damage. Ninja just says, you can have this one. Wilson Twin grabs another kill in the bottom lane. Macho Waffles gets stunned. Like I said, though, he's happy to, He's happy with this encounter. Uh-oh, he has to be careful here, though. Warwick's in position. Warwick is going to get one. Actually, Macho gets it. Double kill. And meanwhile, Lake Steven's cleaning up that dragon in the bottom lane. Like Steven's now two dragons in. Thirteen K gold on Lake Mead. There's the Rift Herald. And now Lake Steven's collapsing on this middle inner turret. The turret's gone. Frostwolf tanking a bunch of hits right now. Not enough to stay alive. Way of Heaven now caught out. Oh, actually, that's not Way of Heaven, is it? That's, uh... <laughs> I guess it was Way of Heaven. 
They grab that inhibitor turret. Lake Stevens, four players now. They only lose Frostwolf in that engagement. Real attack siren just out of range. Legonzo gets sniped by Wilson Twint. And that's an ace. Lake Stevens hammering down the gates on Lake Mead right now. Alright, the only person standing between them and these turrets right now is Nasus and Jax. Sorry, Grammus and Jax. Ninjas goes in, tanks a couple turret shots. Doing his job, though. Probably gonna die for it. Gets sniped by the turret on the way out. As one does. They get the stun on Way of Heaven. Lake Stevens has to pull back, although... Wolf is here! They decide to engage. There goes one, there goes two, there goes three. Jinx for the second ace. Lake Stevens now banging down the door. These turrets about to go down. <laughs> Macho Waffles killed by a turret. They think about getting Reformed Soldier, they almost get a stun, they are going to get the kill. No, they aren't going to get the kill. Come on, Lake Stevens, let's get this, let's get this Nexus. Suddenly there are two dead Lake Stevens, like that three, almost four dead Lake Stevens players who uh, maybe spent a little bit too much time dawdling around the Nexus there, although somehow Lake Stevens gets one kill in there. Macho Waffles now knocking down this bottom inner turret. Lake Mead rolls into the bottom lane hoping to defend, although Macho Waffles gets it. Has to be careful here. Ninjas is in the jungle. There's only two of them, and there's three Lake Mead players. Ninjas jumps right on the way of heaven, but suddenly there's four of them. Stevens, I think, pretty confident. Way of Heaven is going to go down. Lake Stevens gets a kill. And Ninjas and Macho have barely even been touched in that engagement. Macho goes in, gets a kill. Probably going to get killed here. Does he have enough to flash? He doesn't have enough to flash, although he does get the kill. They're able to take down three in that engagement with only losing Macho Waffles. Here comes a snipe. There's one. There's two. There's three. Oh my gosh, he landed all four of them. Wilson landing all those shots. Gotta be careful. All three of them are there, although there are no more turrets to snipe any damage off of Lake Stevens this time. Four of them are gathered up. There's the fifth one. I don't see the fifth one. Are all five of them there? Wilson gets Pike. There goes Jax. Ramus caught out on the wrong side of the team. Like Steven's now doing damage to the Nexus. I think all five of them are there now. Nope, Nasus, or uh, Cassidy is still coming from the base. Way of Heaven goes in on Wilson Twint, dances around, dodges, gets the kill, and that is the Nexus. That is the first game to Lake Stevens. All right, it begins. Once again, we're gonna go through a picks and bans process. What do you think? No spark between us anyway. What do you think they're gonna ban. They stick with Your that same first ban, Tom Kench. Sandwich. A responsive ban by Lake Mead. I'd be interested to see if Nasus remains banned, because to be honest, I feel like Ninja's Nasus game is better than his Tom Kench game. But we'll just have to wait and see. Kind of depends on if they want to shut down a single particular champ or a single particular player or kind of spread out the bands. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, there's the NASA's band. So now Ninjas is going to have to get creative. Those are his top two picks in that top lane. Like Steven staying with the same first three bands. Lake Mead pondering their third. We have swapped sides for this match, by the way. Lake Stevens is in the left on the blue, in the blue on the left, and Lake Mead is in the red on the right. Hey, 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 you're okay. 
It's okay. Think what I could offer. Yeah, there's the Cassiopeia ban. Once again, Macho Waffles being targeted in that middle lane. So they're targeting ninjas in the top and machos in the middle. Alright, relax, relax, relax. I am going to mute my microphone and be back in just a moment. My genius will be understood, eventually. All right, I'm back. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, interesting. Ninjas responds with the double top ban by sniping Viego away from Way of Heaven. Although Way of Heaven responds by grabbing Yasuo, who I know that Ninjas likes to play. Frostwolf decides to go with the tankier pick this time. Instead of Warwick, he goes with Cho'Goth. Curious if that's going to remain a uh, jungle Cho. Macho Waffles grabs Pike. Not sure if he's going to be swapping that for Game and Printa or if he's going to stay in mid with Pike. Wilson uh, blocked from Jin, instead rolls on to Caitlyn, and real attack Simon grabs Yumi. Okay, so looks like Frostwolf taking Viego in the jungle. Ninjas is taking Cho'Goth in the top. Macho is taking Orin in the mid. And Game and Printa is taking Pike in the bottom. Like, Steven's doing a really good job with that champion uh, snagging there with all the bands that were going on. Let's move on into this screen. Lake Stevens down here in the blue, and we have got Lake Mead up here in the red. Game and Prince has grabbed Exhaust. Wilson Twint has got heal. Lake Stevens once again thinking to invade into that bottom jungle again, although this time you'll see Lake Mead, they are ready. They're not going to be caught off guard this time. I think Lake Stevens might be aware of that. Alawi sees them. A nice first poke. Oh, it's a brawl, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Lake Stevens gets a couple good pokes there. Gonna clear out some wards. I don't think they know that that bush has been warded. Little pokey pokey. Yeah, Lake Mead says, not this time. We will not be caught off guard this time.
Like Steven says, all right, fine. We're not going to get you on that one twice. And they kind of pull back into their respective lanes for a more traditional game. Give Wolf a leash. Little laggy, unfortunately. Like Steven's doing some poke down there in the bottom. Yumi was busy helping Liliana in the jungle, but she has now retreated to help her ADC in the bottom. Macho Waffle's getting slammed around by way of heaven right now. Although Wolf is sitting in that bottom jungle, might be looking for a good opportunity to get a gank on Yasuo here. Like Steven's pushing in this bottom lane. A great hook by Game and Printa. Not enough to get a kill, but enough to put some pressure on. Game Imprint has got to be careful here. Getting a little too comfy under that turret, I think. If Game Imprint can land another good hook here, that would be big. Macho Waffle's now doing his fair share of bullying in the bottom, although Liliana is sitting in that top river. Liliana tries to roll in to get a gank on Macho Waffles. Macho Waffles, gotta be careful here. It's the snipe on way of heaven with the turret. <laughs> There's the hook, he grabs him. Beautiful, beautiful. Gets the exhaust and gives the kill to Wilson Twint. What a beautiful play by a support Wilson uh, Game and Printa. All right. Wolf is in trouble. He's in that bottom river. He's got three people collapsing on him. And now it's two to two in there. Yumi's kind of hovering. Game and Printer does grab the hook, although they decide not to engage. Meanwhile, Wilson Twint, happy to farm. Happy to farm in that bottom lane. Ninjas? Um, actually, no, it's not ninjas I was thinking of. Someone else. Never mind. Ooh, a nice dodge there. Oh, no! He thought he could do enough damage to get the kill there, but just was not able to execute. Alawi gets the first kill in that top lane. Ooh, misses the hook. There's a hook! Beautiful! Gives it, gives it to Wilson Twint. What a great support. Alright, Frostwolf is there. They're not going to have enough CC to pull Way of Heaven back into position. Gets a ward for his trouble. There's a stun. Beautiful. I don't think it's going to be enough, though. Nope. Pokes him on the way out. I feel like pretty evenly matched so far. Um, the main difference right now is that bottom lane. Lake Stevens is definitely doing work down here in the bottom. Game and Printer landed some beautiful hooks. Let... Uh, given Wilson Twint the time that he needs to get those kills. And this jungle is here, but not soon enough. 
Wilson Twit gets another kill because the the jungle was out of position, and Ninjas now has. Ah, oh, he had to use his flash to get there. It's not going to be enough. He does get the stun. Oh, there it is. He hit level six. He gets his gobble, and he takes Alawi in the top lane. All right, Wolf looking for that first dragon. Bottom lane rolls in to help. Ninjas gets a free ward. Game and Printa moving in just to secure this dragon. Alawi TPs to the top, and Yasu is rolling into that top top zone. Blue team gets their dragon. Yasuo looking at that. He does not know he's warded. He now knows he's warded. Game and Printer not in position to help with any CCs here, so Wilson Twint just has to do poke damage himself. Ninjas knows that Way of Heaven is there, so he's just going to do some damage. Has to be careful here, though. He does get it. Oh, man, if he had been there. Ah, oh, he thought about it. He thought about it for a moment. He didn't have flash. He might have flashed in and gobbled. All right, Macho Waffles rolls into the top lane. He's gonna bump into a Lowie right here. Ninja's not really in a position to help him too much. Oh my gosh, Oren is hammering him right now, although he's taking a bunch of damage. Cho'Gath gets in there. I can't believe this self-directed cam is having me sit down here right now. Slagon's a little bit too overconfident there. Gets poked to death by Wilson Twint. Man, ninjas wants him. Oren might die here. Oh, suddenly it's a 3v2. Lake Mead thought they had the encounter, but suddenly Lake Stevens has got it. There's the hook. Yumi is dead. That's two kills in that bottom lane. Ninjas now slightly out-leveling Reformed Soldier, even though Lowey got that first kill on him. And so far, I would say this Macho Waffles Orin pick has been a good adjustment. I did not know that Macho Waffles had an Orin in him. But now that I know, it's pretty awesome. Man, he's just so much long distance poke as Cho'Gath. Here comes Game Printa. Oh! Gets the stun. Beautiful. Game and Printer gets that one with his ult. He deserved it. And Oren now has free roan of this middle lane. Game and Printer rolling up to see if he can help out ninjas in the top lane. Wilson Twint left alone in the bottom lane for a moment, but he kind of outlevels them right now. He might be pretty happy with that. He has to be careful. He doesn't get CC'd and sniped, though. Like Mead pinging their lane, they don't know where, they don't know where he is. Looks like they're going for the Rift Herald in the top lane. Liliana is in the vicinity. Liliana's gonna see them going for the Rift Herald. They're gonna get Liliana. Nope. Liliana pulls back. They do get the Rift Herald. Like Steven's waiting for their opportunity. Game and Printer moving in on Liliana. We're having an engagement near the top right now. Way of Heaven is in really deep on the turret now. Able to escape into the bush though. There's a nice snag by Game and Printer. Does Wilson Twint have the damage? He does! Rift Herald popped onto that middle outer turret. Oh my gosh, she does so much damage as Pike now. Gets a nice snipe on Yumi. And now Lake Mead having to play defense in their middle inner lane. I 
totally sure what Alawi was doing there. Maybe just trying to get some tentacle pressure, but now it's gone. Two Lake Mead players up here grabbing their red buff, although Lake Stevens is here to deny that if they can. Wave Heaven has to flash over the top to get away. And Wolf says, I will take the red buff. Thank you. Reformed Soldier is there. It's about to be a 3v3. Meanwhile, Wilson Twint grabs that bottom. Oh, no! Frostwolf gets a kill. Orin's somehow still alive right now. Way of Heaven is the only one intact. Game and Printer gets the kill. And no Lake Stevens players died during that engagement. Beautifully played in that top jungle by Lake Stevens. Alright, looks like they got a TP out of the top lane. Lake Stevens pings the dragon. They would be happy to grab a second one, although there are three Lake Mead players on the bottom half of the map. That said, it's Yumi who's having a hard time staying alive right now. Lake Stevens decides to go for that dragon. Meanwhile, Cho'Gath getting pinched in this top lane right now. No, Yasuo decides not to go for it. Lake Stevens gets the dragon. That's two dragons for Lake Stevens. Lake Mead now knows that he's there. They decide to pull back. Hexgate is active. I don't know what these are. <laughs> are they just little teleportation areas? Game and Print are going to get Liliana. Nope, Wilson Twint grabs it. That's okay. That's the ADC. Bottom diff, you know what they say. And here comes Game and Printa. He wants it. Gets the snag. Sly Gonzo is going to go down here. Boom, double kill by Game and Printa. Ninjas left to just mulch that top turret all by himself. Alawi here to defend this middle inner turret. Does get the little snag on Game and Printa's ghost. Lake Stevens pulls back in this middle lane. Four Lake Mead players now shoving down this lane. Meanwhile, Wilson Twint grinding away this bottom inner turret. Like Steven decides to go back. Meanwhile, Ninjas, again, he's been hitting this turret for about 30 seconds now. <laughs> Finally gets to take it down. Frostwolf finds a ward there. Doesn't go for it, though. I don't know why. <laughs> there we go. Pressure in this middle lane now. Some defensive ults by Lake Mead. Four Lake Stevens players here though. Watch for the game and print a hook. That's what you want to see. All five now pushing down this middle inner turret. Reformed Soldier is probably going to get game and print and no, he escapes. That was actually a really great defense by Lake Mead. Reform Soldier's able to get away. But Ninjas flashes in and gets it. Actually, no, that wasn't a flash. Never mind. Wow, only one dead on Lake Mead on that engagement. Pike around the side, though, is able to snag one. Like Steven's up 21 kills to one right now. A bit of a slower start from last game. But, gotta be careful, Game and Printa. There's a turret. What are you doing, man? <laughs> like Steven's going back. 
They've done their damage. Up 17k gold. No Lake Mead players over 100 minions. And it's time for another Rift Herald. Macho Waffles, kind of, I mean, he's going to get this, but it's a little scary. There's two Lake Mead players in the vicinity. Like, Stevens decides to play a little bit more careful there. Orin, I see now using the Hex Gate. Is it just Orin that can use it, or is it all of the team? That's pretty cool, actually. All right, Lake Mead now. Finally able to get some damage here on this bottom outer turret. Three Lake Mead players in position. Oh, look at that. He just took one, so it looks like it's the whole team. I did not know that. That's very cool. Game Imprinta knows that he has been undetected there. There's the engagement. Oh, he misses the hook! Doesn't matter. There's one kill. Sly Gonzo takes a big hit. Game Imprinta is going to be able to get there, I believe. There it is. All three are dead. Like Steven's now going to be pushing in this bottom lane, by the looks of it. No, they go into the jungle. Cho'Gath versus Liliana goes to sleep. Does take a big hit, but I don't know if I would have taken that engagement. He does so much damage with that R. Don't mess with Cho'Gath. He thick. Oh, wow. Oh, he barely hangs in there. Oh, the tentacle gets him! He's dead and the tentacle got him! Oh, he's finally shut down. Meanwhile, Lake Stevens, I was looking away. Lake Stevens pushing down this inhibitor turret in the middle lane. The ADC is taking out the dragon all by himself. Why not? That's the third dragon for Lake Stevens. Inhibitor in that middle lane is now down. Lake Stevens is up 26 kills. They're up 18k gold. Lake Mead pinging their bottom inner turret. Macho Waffles a little bit out of position, but Frostwolf is there. Frostwolf doing some big damage on Way of Heaven. Gets through that air shield. Chasing down Yumi in the jungle now. Oh my gosh, Reformed Soldier saved him! You can't hurt him in there. Frostwolf now in trouble, although there's the Orin ult, it's not enough. Oh my gosh! Orin gets a kill. Reformed Soldier, a little bit confident after that engage, is slammed down. Sly Gonzo, the only one remaining. Killed by a Wilson Twint, and that is not an ace, but almost an ace. Way of Heaven sitting back there. I think they're probably just going to let this one roll. Nope, he comes out. Oh my gosh, the support is doing so much damage right now. First Nexus turret is down. Wilson Twint doing so much damage per hit right now. Both inhibitor turrets are down. Like Steven's probably wanting to close this one out, but they are starting to spawn in there. They're going to see if they can get a kill on Reformed Soldier. No snag from Game and Printa. Oh, big hit by Ninjas. Game and Printa gets a kill there. Gets a second kill there to get out of trouble. And the Nexus is down. Lake Stevens takes game two. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Lake Stevens, the first game of the regular season, rounds it out two to zero. That was beautiful play. Man, I feel like there was a really great adjustment when it came to picks and bans. 
Uh, Macho Waffles Orin. What the heck was that? That was awesome. Wilson Twint just doing ADC things, of course. Game and Printa, Deadly on Pike. Nice that they could snag that out from um, Lake Mead. And, man, who knew that Ninjas had a Cho'Gath? Frostwolf doing his jungle things. I think Lake Stevens played about as good as they have played for the last several games. I honestly feel like the main difference this game... Um, is a, a large improvement from Macho Waffles. Not that Macho Waffles has been playing poorly. It's just he's had a lot of really tough matchups in that middle lane. I feel like for most of the games that we have played so far, um, we've had a, a mostly favorable top lane, a mostly favorable jungle, a mostly favorable bottom lane. Um, but the, the mid matchup usually is pretty close between Macho Waffles and whoever his opponent is. Um, I feel like this time, though, he had a tough opponent, and he just... Did the best with what he could. He was playing up against Way of Heaven, who you can see here. 0-9 oh, and 0. Oh. Right? He didn't even he didn't give him a kill. All three kills went from Alawi, and two of them were on ninjas in the top lane. The first blood and that weird little tentacle slam at the end there. And then that weird little jungle kill. All three um poorly selected engagements from Lake Stevens are represented right. Oh, you can't see my mouse. <laughs> I represented right over there in Reformed Soldier's Kills. Uh, one of them is just an unfortunate first blood. Ninjas thought he had it. The second one was Ninjas thought he had it. And a tentacle came out of nowhere and killed him. And then the third one was, I can't remember who it was on, um, Frost Wolf in the Jungle near the end there within the last couple minutes. Game and Printa, the support, went 13 and 11. Wait a minute, let's just take a second. And I know that he's Pike. Okay, I know that he's Pike, and it's it's a bit of a different support, but holy crap, look at this. Oh, you can see my mouse now. 13 kills, 11 assists. Normally, you, I mean, maybe you could expect these numbers to be swapped, but no, Game and Printer was laying down the pain at the end there with Pike. Well, that's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. Um, we have got more Lake Stevens High School esports in the near future. So yeah, if you would like to watch more of our fantastic esports students, make sure you give the Twitch channel a follow, but also make sure you check out our YouTube channel, LSHS Video Game Club. Um, I have been slowly editing and uploading videos there for the last year or so. You'll find all of last year's matches, as well as a handful of the matches, the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate matches from this fall. Um, you can also check us out on Twitter and Instagram. The handle is at esports underscore LSHS. And that is where you want to go if you want to see some more exciting Lake Stevens High School esports. Thank you guys so much for coming. And I will see you guys next time.